This year really was truly the best year of my life. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's Sean B back for another installment of Be Real and man, it's been a long time since I've put something up guys. Man, so much has changed this year. I don't have to explain to you how crazy of a year 2020 has been, but today I wanna talk about the reasons why 2020 has for real been the best year of my life. Let's jump into this. So if you guys have been following since last year, this year started off with a lot of hope. There was a lot of potential going into this year. We had a ton of stuff lined up. It was gonna be a big year that we were talking about. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, here comes COVID, changing up everybody's plans, canceling stuff left and right, and man, it was just, it didn't stop from there. Once COVID came out, it was just like, boom, problem, boom, problem, boom, problem. And it's like so many things going on, and it gets crazy trying to keep up with the crazy stuff that's going on in the world, man. So it's, it's so easy to look at 2020 and be like, man, this year was terrible. And you know, in the sense of canceling everything that we had planned and this was the big year that we were counting on, in that sense, yeah, totally, man, that was, that was awful. But as I, as I look back um, and I look at this year and it's, it's coming to a close, we're getting ready to, to wrap up 2020 finally. Um, as I look back and I look at everything that did happen this year, um, you know, the truth is that this year really was truly the best year of my life. And that had so much to do with family. As you guys know, uh, my baby Angelina Ray, she was born this year, February 3rd. And that was crazy, man. It was the first time, it was our first baby. And just, there was so much like anticipation and so much excitement going into that. And now our baby's here and she's super cute and she's super chubby and she's everything that we could have prayed for in a baby and even more you know just being able to being able to be there over these months over this year and just just watch the things watch her grow watch her change so quickly already you know watch her start crawling watch her smiling when she sees us and you know we put on music and she does this little like wiggle dance thing it's super cute um just just being able to be around and see those things man that has been such an eye opener and people told me you know hey when you have a kid it, it changes things it changes the way that you see the world and it gives you this new um this new idea of love that you never knew that you had before and man they were right they were absolutely right you know having having our baby is when, when we look at her we're filled with this love that just we had no idea that we could feel. We're filled with this love that it's like, oh man, like this is our baby. It's a new kind of love. And you know, to, to push forward even more, man, it, it's just, it's a great testimony to, you know, imagine the love of God, the love that God has for us, because you have this, this baby in front of you. This is our baby. And we would do anything for this baby. Like we, it, it doesn't matter what she did. We could never stop loving her. And I think that's cool because that's how God sees us. Like no matter what we do, he can never stop loving us. And so reason number one, the biggest reason why 2020 has been the best year of my life is because it brought my baby into my life. And, and that just, guys, that just changed everything. So reason number two, we're sticking on the topic of family. And you know, some of you might know, some of you might not. Um, earlier this year, I had an incredible opportunity to join up with Passionate Life Church in Littleton and just be a part of the growth of their ministry. And um, you know, I was able to meet with Pastor Andrew and just hear the vision that he has for the church and meet the team that he has. And man, they're just incredible people. And so like I said, st sticking on the topic of family, this church family that me and Marina and baby found this year at Passionate Life Church, man, it was just, it's incredible. It was so much of what we needed at the perfect time that we needed it, man. These people have come together. They've just supported every 
effort that we've put out everything and it's just it's the most encouraging place and you know it's just it's being around people that genuinely just want to see you succeed they want to see the best for you and when you're around people like that man it makes you want to give even more for them and so just to be a part of the growth and to see the changes that are happening at this church man it's been such a blessing to be able to be brought on here the other thing is man they're just like they're like super fun you know what I'm saying so we did recently it was back to church Sunday and uh, we got to have a little bit of fun uh, right in like a parody music video called uh, going back to church and so you guys could check out a little clip of that right here church. PLC, fresh out of quarantine, close the laptop, tiger the live stream. Virtual worship ain't the same, and I ain't dressed up in weeks, rocking shorts in the tank. FaceTime life groups, but I miss the fam. In the front row, folks yelling out, Amen. Pastor at the door, shaking visitors' hands, and the praise team got me going full praise dance. Hey, grab your Bible and church outfit. Quarantine 20, hope your button up still fits. Cause the lockdown's done, celebrate. Hooray! Cause today's back to church Sunday. We're going, going back. Hey, we even got Pastor to jump in and do a little rap piece in there. If you guys want to see the full video, check out the link in the description box below. It'll take you over to their page. You can check out the video that we did. Um, I, just, I just love being around. Like when we're going to have fun and we're going to get creative to push the ministry forward, man, I, I love that. Reason number three. All right, here we go. This is a big reason for me because obviously this whole channel, the reason I started doing all this was music in the first place. And you guys know 2020, um, back in July on the 24th, I put out a album called To Come This Far and um, to touch on that, man, that, that was the best music I think I've done. Probably that was for sure the best music I've done in my life. Just from the writing to the production from Gregatron, who you guys will hear more from uh, in videos down the road. But just just all of that, um, it all came together to just be the best art that I've put out in my life and I'm super excited about it. I cannot say that there's a song on there that I don't like. I can't say that there's a song on there that I'm not proud of. Um, I'm just super pumped about every song on there and it was so much fun to make. Um, so big shout out to Greg Atron for keeping, for keeping that creative process fun and exciting and enjoyable. Um, but if you guys will notice, I put that out, I pushed it and then I kind of fell back. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this is the first video I've put out for a while. Uh, if you look at my socials, there hasn't been very much posting going on lately. Um, and all of that is because after I put that album out, um, I did a lot of pushing behind the scenes. I did a lot of radio shopping and you know, setting up some interviews and stuff like that. And that was awesome. It was really fun. And where I was at mentally is, all right, this was the first album I've ever put out. It's a big milestone in, you know, wanting to do music and stuff. We put out singles. We've been able to get good shows and stuff. We've been able to get good traction just off of singles, but putting out a project is a little bit different. So this is the first project I've ever put out. And so with that, hitting that milestone, I wanted to step back and just evaluate where I was at. With, again, going back, reoccurring thing with COVID this year, it was just, you know, it makes it hard as the music industry is already hard enough. It's already hard enough to get booked for shows. It's already hard enough to book big concert venues, to book festivals. It's hard enough to do that already. Now you take COVID into the mix that the festivals that you did get are canceling and people aren't even sure what they're gonna do next year because they don't know how it's gonna pan out. It's hard. And so stepping back and looking at, okay, this is already hard. Now it just got harder. Do we want to continue to pursue this? Do we want to continue to take this shot? And so, you know, just to be real with you guys, it took a lot of, took a lot of looking, you know, it took a lot of thinking, a lot of praying. And where my head was at was, is this worth it? You know, we got, I have a new family. We just had the baby. Um, I'm in an incredible place with, you know, where I'm able to be at with my, with my work situation. Um, and we have an incredible church family behind us. Do I want to continue to pursue this? And really what it came down to is after praying and stuff that, yeah, of course, of course you want to continue to pursue this because it's great that you have a great family situation. It's great that you have a great work situation, a great church situation, but you know, God has still called to do something more. God has still called to continue. And so it's not like you got to trade in all this stuff. If you want to pursue this career in music, you don't have to get rid of any of that stuff. God will allow you to do it 
all at the same time. And, you know, what I felt like God was telling me is just, hey, you know, keep going. Show me that you want to do this. Show me that, you know, show me that you're going to listen to what I said and you're not just going to stop because things are really stacking up against you. And so it took a lot of reflection. It took a lot of thinking. But guys, I am super, super excited about, you know, the end of this year coming up next year. And I don't want to talk too big. I don't want to say too much stuff because like I said, we, we don't know what's going on with COVID. If everything goes away and there's no more restrictions and stuff like that, then we're on. We're good connections. We're getting back onto the shows that we were supposed to be getting on. We're doing it all. But if not, we're going to have to get creative. We're going to have to do, you know, some singles, some cool music videos. We're going to have to, we're just going to have to be different. We're going to have to think outside the box. It's a challenge, but it's a challenge worth doing because man, we have come this far and we did not come this far just to come this far. So I'm super excited about going forward. There will be more music from me and Greg Atron, and we might even have some features coming up on the next series of music. There will absolutely be music videos coming up. I know we had been talking about them uh, before I kind of went dark, and it's just because, again, everything we had scheduled, it's so hard to find, you know, the, the venues that we were gonna shoot at, the places like that, it's so hard to find um, if they're open or not, and if we have permission to be in there, and what their regulations are, and what they're doing. And so it's just been, it, has been a mess to uh, to be looking at. But guys, I'm super excited. We're still moving it. We have an interview with Corner Cafe coming up very soon. Check out my social media for links on that. Um, I was able to get placed with Brian Morris on his new show on CTN, Man360. Got able to um, just jump on with an interview spot with him, talk a little bit about the heart behind the music. And that's going to be airing very soon. Again, uh, check the socials for that. Um, like I said, music coming up, music videos. We're still working close with Joseph Michael. Um, just a lot of exciting stuff coming up, guys. So if anything else, you know, music, you know, on the music subject, it flopped this year. It was kind of not exactly what we were thinking that it was going to be. But if anything else, I have this like, I have this re-energized sense of like, let's go do this. You know what I'm saying? I, I have this, I have this just mentality of like, all right, this is what our situation is. Let's accept it and let's get to work. Guys, I am super, super excited about 2020. So many amazing things. And I want to challenge you to look back at the year and find the good that came out of this situation because there's always good in this stuff. For example, go to a restaurant and you got like some nice privacy with the six foot distancing. That's nice. I mean, you can't complain about that, right? I challenge you guys to go back and look at the positive that came to your life this year. I know there's been so much negative. I know there's been so much loss, but guys, there's always gain when you trust God. There's always something more that God will do for you. I love to look at the story of Joseph and how his life was just terrible. He lost everything, sold into slavery, thrown in jail, all of this stuff, all this negative happened, but the whole time he was right where God needed him to be. And I want to encourage you today that you are right where God needs you to be. But what you have to do is continue to move forward to that call that God has placed on your life. Continue to put that effort in, continue to work, and God will honor that work and God will place you right where he wants you in the end. So guys, stay encouraged. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit me up seanbmusic.com. Subscribe to the, the channel, of course. Those subscriptions go a lot further than you realize just as far as being able to promote on, on the artist stand and all that. So definitely drop down, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. We got new videos coming up. Me and Marina are going to be back reviewing some of our videos from last year, checking out new goals for 2021. We're going to be building baby's first Christmas tree. Uh, we just got a lot of fun family stuff coming up. Obviously, we got new music videos coming up, new lyric videos, a ton of content, spoken words. I'm super excited. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video. And until next time, guys, man, it's been so long since I done one of these. I forgot how it goes. Oh yeah. Be strong, be courageous, be you, and be real. God bless. We'll see you guys next time. Now we play hard to work, hard part has been done. What up? Get them up in the sky. We ain't celebrating nothing but life. <laughs> Wait for what tomorrow can wait Life's short, I'ma love it today And everybody